happy little chappy. Mm -hmm. Always happy. Mm -hmm. I can't ever remember him not being happy. I've <laughs> never met anyone who loved bikes. He, he rode, rode them, he raced them, he collected them, he traded them. He just loved bicycles. It's the look of complete delight, isn't yeah, it? Like it's this, yeah. yeah. Damien and I in instantly bonded at that um, placement together. Um, we bonded over the fact that it did take us a couple of years to get into medicine. Damien, nutritionist, myself a pharmacist, and we both loved dogs. He wanted to be a practicing doctor. And uh, it really did bring out the best in him. And, and he knew that, and we could all see that. And this is perhaps one of the great days of his life, the day he graduated. So he was going to a bike race on Anzac Day and a man was driving his car in the opposite direction and he came across the four lanes. He had, he had a, a blackout, he was a diabetic. So the man has come across four lanes, he's hit him in a particular way and, uh, and it, he was dead within about a minute. The sad thing is that it was just the beginning. I think the, the first, idea that came into my head is when I first learned I, you know, I don't want this my son to be forgotten. What I'd like to achieve is to see a number of graduates that ordinarily wouldn't be able to get to the starting line or the finishing line of medicine and, uh, and produce some graduates which in, in his name and in his name and in his, in his style and character. If we can recruit people from more diverse backgrounds, from perhaps socioeconomically less advantaged backgrounds, from rural backgrounds, LGBTQI people, people from, uh, who are migrants or um, refugees, people with disabilities, if we can recruit people from backgrounds that more closely resemble the profile of the communities they'll be serving, it's no great surprise to discover that they'll actually provide better service to those communities. Because ultimately there's so much more to being a good doctor than your background, your level of privilege, your level of education. We embrace diversity, we encourage diversity because our communities are diverse. I think that the Drapak Gift is an extraordinary opportunity for Deakin Medical School to make real its promise to the community to do that recruitment from more diverse backgrounds so that we have graduates who will serve less served communities. I think all of us here at Deakin within the School of Medicine, all of the students, both current and in the future, um, will have a huge debt of gratitude to Michael and his son. And it's fantastic that we get to carry his name on. Well, I guess I've always wanted to be a doctor for a start. Um, and uh, I didn't think it was possible at my age to embark on it. That's where the scholarship helps. And I've lived in Colac pretty much my entire life and I'm pretty committed to that area. So if you want to attract GPs or doctors to an area, um, training people from that area just makes sense. Over time, we'll, we'll have uh, a community of Drapak scholars who've received this support and um, have a sense of belonging to this, to this group uh, who will be making a real difference in the world. I think it's incredible that he, his life and his legacy now gets to touch many students going forward. And I think that it's really important that they hear the story behind Damien. Young graduates that are vocationally committed to being doctors, didn't matter what else was, what else they were enticed with or tempted with, I want to be a doctor and I'll see that shine in them and in seeing it shine in them, I'll see my son. Mm -hmm.